How to create Google AdWords campaigns. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can set up a typical Google AdWords campaign. Now, before we dive in creating our campaigns, it is very important that you read through the guidelines and policies for advertising with AdWords because they are very important for your AdWords account. Let's move on and let's take a look at a typical AdWords account. Let's imagine the green box that we're seeing is our AdWords account. Within each AdWords account, you can create many different campaigns. And within each campaign, you can have multiple ad groups. Furthermore, within each ad group, you can actually have different ads. Now, all of these are important as you um, start advertising with AdWords and learning most of the features available to you because it is only then you will really make Google AdWords work for your business. So let's go and let's log into our AdWords account. Once you're logged in, creating campaigns is just a matter of pressing on this um, link here. And as soon as you do that, you end up getting all these different options. Let's briefly understand the difference between all of them. Universal app campaign, basically it's for mobile apps. So you can advertise within apps as well in 2015, 16, and perhaps beyond. Video ads is video ads for YouTube. Shopping is to do with uh, Google Merchant Center. You need to follow different uh, procedures, as in update your product feed and so on. Display network only. Okay, this is how display network only works. Google has many, many different websites. Google Maps, YouTube, Blogger, you know, Gmail, all this stuff. As well as millions of websites participating with Google AdSense program that's also included within Google uh, Display Network only. Now, Display Network only should be chosen if you want to gain quick exposure and search network only is when someone searches Google search box that's search network only. So when someone conducts a typical search, what we're seeing here, th these, these are ads from AdWords. On the right hand side, we've got ads here. So that this is to do with search network only. So if you're starting out with AdWords, all these um, may sound confusing, but they're really not. Search network with display select is a new way basically what that is is you combine both think of it that way search network only we know it's about searching google so you when you select search network only you're advertising when someone searches google when you select display network only you're saying you know what show my ads all around your global network of partners AdSense participants, websites, uh, blogger, Gmail, maps, all this stuff. So when you select the first option, then you're saying, okay, combine the both and so on. When you're starting out, unless you really know what you're doing as far as selecting either one of these, I would suggest you select search network only. But this is the tricky bit. Even though you select search network only, as you can see, there's a check mark here. It says include search partners. Now, what you want to do is you want to uncheck that. So make sure it's like this and not checked. Because even when you search, uh, when you select search network only, it's still saying, you know what, search network only but including search partners. Search partners are other uh, websites 
that is specifically partnered with Google. Websites like AOL, CNN, and many others. So it is smart that you select search network, as in Google search network, and make sure you uncheck include search partners, because then you know you are only advertising for Google search. That's important. You can name cam your campaign anything you want, but surely it's only logical to name it something that you will remember. So if you're running perhaps a monthly campaign, you can say, okay, it's for um, December holiday season and so on. As we can see, we can always select different types here. Standard, all features, you can surely read through them. I'm not going to cover every single one of them because doing that's going to take two hours. You also have options to pull data from your existing campaigns. Yeah, well, if you have existing campaigns, then you know how to create campaigns. So let's move on. And devices, ads will show on all el eligible devices by default. What's great with um, Google AdWords interface is that you got these little question marks. Every time you hover over them, you will have a tooltip giving you more insights as to what the settings are all about. You can always right click and go and read more about these settings in detail as you learn Google AdWords. Location, this is a great feature of AdWords. In fact, Facebook advertising, Google AdWords advertising, and many others allow you to pinpoint exactly to the location that you want your ads to be shown. This is great, particularly if you have a small business or a local business. Local business, I should say. Let's say you're a emergency plumber offering services in the city of Melbourne. Then you can say, okay, you know what? Let me choose, go to advanced search and say, CBD Melbourne. Let's say Australia, Victoria, as you can see. Now, look what happened here. You can even pinpoint to a particular um, um, radius, so to speak. In this example, I can say, okay, you know what? 50 mile radius or 50k radius, you can choose. It's up to you. You can say CBD Melbourne Victoria, which I already have. You can say search that. And now look what happened. But this is showing me US. So I have to guide uh, AdWords to say, okay, you know what? That's Melbourne in Victoria. As you can see, look what happened. So that's the power of AdWords and pay per click advertising in today's online advertising space so let's for this example um, what I'll do I'll actually cancel that because I want to select all Australia but you can select all countries and all territories and advertise globally it's totally up to you you can also choose different languages as you can see bid strategy is <laughs> This can actually get quite complex to understand if you're beginning with AdWords. I'll briefly walk you through what they mean. As you can see, as soon as I hover, it's giving me the tooltip. Cost per click is when someone clicks, that's the cost. Um, CPM is cost per milli, as it cost per thousand impressions and you also have CPA that's for cost per acquisition I'd like to think of action so you can say okay I'll manually set my bids for clicks or you can let AdWords work all that out for you if you're starting out it's actually smart to let AdWords work that out for you because with AdWords 
auction, you actually don't pay any more than beating the auction um, advertiser below you. Make sense? So AdWords will work that out automatically for you because to win at an auction, as in to, to let your ad show in prominent position, um, each ad goes through an auction. And there are many, many factors that go into um, Google AdWords determining that. That's why you must have you know, fully optimized websites. And it's all about the experience that you will provide when someone clicks that ad, goes onto your website, and what they experience. As in, you know, how long they stay there. Do they fulfill their need when they search Google? All that is taken to equation when you are paying for your ads. So let's say we are setting $10 per day most small business owners, they start out with $20, $30. But for this video tutorial, let's just leave at $10. I actually use $10 per day for different campaigns anyway. Now, you also have um, ad extensions here. What they are about is, as you can see, these little links here. This uh, location information that's being pulled from Google My Business page. So if you have, if you don't have Google My Business, then you should have it. This is particularly great for local businesses. So ad extensions extend your ad. In this example, its local information is being pulled down for this mob. The one below is about site links and so on. They only improve your ad's quality anyway, and also gives you more option for people to click these links. There is another one for um, phone number. Well, you can actually have ex ad extensions to show your phone number as well, which is another great feature if you want people to call you. So if that's your objective, then choosing that is on this mark. So let's save and continue. Now we can create our ad groups. Now most small business owners, when they start out with AdWords, they end up advertising their homepage. You should never do that. You should only advertise individual landing pages. So whatever the products you have, on certain landing pages, advertise that landing page. So let's let's give this as an example. Let's say I want to, when people click my ad, I want them to come to this landing page and not my home page. Let's leave that as such. Ad group, you can name it anything you want. You can say, Let's say exact match. Some or something that you remember. Now comes the part where you select keywords. Now, if you've never conducted keyword research before, I have video tutorials that show you how to do that. It is very basic. You have an option in tools menu option. You can go to keyword planner and start exploring the features available with that tool because basically you end up seeing the keywords that you should select how much competition there is and so on let's just choose some and let's just leave this as it is but as you can see the suggestions are for you to choose 10 20 keywords as you're creating your campaign you can as I've said to you you can have multiple ad groups but let's just continue to ads now this is the page whereby you can start tweaking how your ads will look it's important that if you're advertising a certain product or service it's smart to 
sorry, I sh that's the final URL. That's the final URL. Headline is should contain the keywords, root keywords that you're targeting. This is, as you can see, as you're filling these out, it's going to show you what it looks like. Now, if you never used Google AdWords before, it's actually only smart for you to gain some ideas from those who are already advertising because they already spent their money and tested many different things. So they know which keywords may work better and so on and how they arrange those words. Okay? But, you know, because everyone is in a different niche, it will be totally up to you to create your ads. But if you end up going more, then it's going to highlight it saying, you know what, you can only have certain amount of text. This is how it's going to look like on the side and on the side, on the top and so on. Make sense? So that's solely up to you how you arrange your ads. Let's save. Now I can review campaign. Let's press on that. As you can see, it's given me a quick overview as to what's going on. Now I can save and finish. Once I save and finish, let's go back because I already um, have some campaigns running. Then it's just going to be a matter of you coming back and start tweaking all the different settings. Because to make AdWords really work for you, it's only smart to go in and start uh, uh, modifying keywords, match types, and so on. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do subscribe, comment, like the video, and remember, I will be adding more about AdWords and how we're meant to use it. I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.